Hello guys, welcome to the channel, welcome if you are new, there we go. I am Stacy, and tonight we're going to be painting um, World Watercolor Month Prompt 6, which is Rusty. Um, I went ahead and drew out a keyhole, I'm going to do a little landscape painting in here, and then we're going to paint a little Rusty, um, <coughs> like rustic keyhole and um, chipped paint and stuff like that. And I think I'm just going to use the dirty water that I have. Actually, I have a little bit of clean water right here for our keyhole lands or seascape. I'm going to do a little seascape. Like that. I'll zoom in while I do this. I can see better what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and go in with some blue. that and then do a little turquoisey color for our C like that Okay, a little bit of hazy sun right there, Get a tiny drop of water in the center of that. I'm going to let that dry and then we're going to come back and do some little bit of weaves. Um, maybe some... It's a little lighter at the bottom. We'll mess with that. After. Okay. There we go. All right. Now I'm going to do my little, I'm going to let that dry and then we'll come, we're going to go out here and do the paint and then we're going to come back in and do the rust and de deteriorating paint um, and wall and whatnot. So this is going to be probably a pretty quick painting. My tape's coming up a bit. It's a little warm in here today. There. What color are we going to... I think we're going to do our paint. Kind of a, a green color. Kind of scrubby looking. There we go. Okay. 
it's kind of deteriorated, right? It's faded and maybe in some spots it's a little moldy, a little dark, like that. We'll come in and do all of our Faded green, like that. A little dot right here, and a dot there. Okay. I'm gonna come in the top and just splash in. Pick up the extra water. This is just a dry brush tapped in to soak up the extra water that I have in there. Because I know I tend to paint pretty water heavy, so I'm pretty like aware of that. I'm gonna come up here, let's see. Right there, right through there. I hope everyone's having a good day. I am. I had a nice... I watched Tater Tot last night. That's my son's dog. I got up. Hung out for a little bit. Came home. Showered. Um, had some lunch. Got in the pool relaxed, you know. And then uh, I wanted to take a little nap. I feel like I could nap right now, but it's getting too late in the day. Plus, um, I forgot that I have to go to the store. Oh, I should have gone this afternoon. Uh, I have to go to the store and pick up some things for my grandchildren's birthday party tomorrow. Um, Gloria and Joey are were born in the same month, so we we tend to have their birthday um, well, my daughter tends to do their birthday pretty close together. And uh, they're, I guess, too young to care. So, I'm going to go ahead and dollop in some dark. I like how it looks over there, that sediment. Let's go ahead and up some of that in here and there, like so. Oh, I zoom, I zoom, stay zoomed in. Sorry about that. I'm trying to remember to edit that out. Um, so as I was saying, my grandchildren's birthday party is <clears throat> tomorrow from two to four. Um, kind of in the heat. So I'm a little worried about that for me. Um, and, well, oh, I, there's a little fleck of paint here and here. Uh, because I get heat stroke really easily and I really don't want to. So I'm going to need to remember to stay in the shade, drink water, try not to be in the sun too much. And when I tell you I was in the pool outside, I was, I have a little floaty that has an awning over the top, um, for 
um, to protect me from the sun because like I said I'm I'm I don't do well in the sun I usually crisp up pretty quickly um, I need to go to the grocery store tonight on my way out to um, take care of Tato. Things should be alright in the car overnight. Um, <clears throat> I'm um, looking forward. Got a little too much blue right there. I'm looking forward to the birthday party and, and not at the same time. I, uh, I was really looking forward to a weekend home and not having to watch the Tato dog. Um, I thought last weekend was my last weekend of watching her, but uh, as it turns out, son needed me to watch her this weekend as well, which is fine. Um, but I am getting a little at the end of my rope with babysitting. It's not my thing. I love my, my grand puppy. Don't get me wrong. Um, what should I start with here? I think, I think I'm going to start with this kind of golden wheat color. Um, and me babysitting is basically me just sleeping at his house. Uh, he works 11 to like 9 at night or 9 in the morning. So Tato woke me up this morning sniffing my armpit. <laughs> it was a very disconcerting feeling. <laughs> I haven't had, um, live with me pets in a long time and that was that was new that was that I wasn't <laughs> expecting to be woke up that way at all um so yeah that was my wake-up call this morning at seven because she was done sleeping and wanted to play so basically the pug dog is she's like eight months old is um like having a two or a three-year-old um, she's basically a three-year-old toddler, which most dogs are until they, they get a little older, but dang, my armpit, really? <laughs> um, it was an alarming and mildly irritating way to be woke up. I don't like being tickled and she's got a very soft muzzle, like a horse. It's very soft and, um, and then she's got all those little whiskers, kind of like a cat. And, uh, yeah, it, it was, it was a feeling, that's for sure. I'm grabbing several different colors on the brush at this point. I'm gonna just kind of dab them in, like scrub like that. So that was how I got woke up at 7 o'clock this morning. Uh, ended up going inside, which was a good thing. I went in the, in the main house because my son lives in um, uh, a little camper out in the back um, yard. It's all hooked up to electricity and stuff. But I went in the house this morning just to say hi to everybody and um, go pee in the big bathroom, you know, in the, in the big girl bathroom. and. Um, let Tato play because she had been, like, son had slept the day away and then I didn't feel good because I got heat sick last night, yesterday. I got really silly on my part. I got very heat sick and was not feeling good. Everybody I ran into yesterday was like, are you alright? <laughs> You don't look all right. I don't like, know. I'm really not all right. I, I got heat sick and I know better. I just, 
didn't take good care of myself. So I'm trying to create a rusty look here. This is, let's see, I'll show you the colors I'm using while I'm chattering away. Burnt Sienna, Bread, Harvest, um, a little bit of pumpkin, and I think I'm going to put some red clay and Mars Violet in there. I think those two colors will look really cool. And maybe some Club Brown, you know, these colors here. Um, just to see what they look like, right? I should probably spritz this. Do I have any water left in here? Nope. We'll just dab each one a little bit so that they can... It's very, very warm in here. <clears throat> Let's use this wet grizzly. See what that looks like. Ooh, very um dark. That's okay. Maybe a splatter, wet brush, just kind of move it around. The wet grizzly has um, mica in it, so it will add a weird little shine, which is kind of fun. So yeah, the um, the grandkids' birthdays were actually last month, but uh, their birthdays are so close that my <coughs> my daughter did a uh, like a family birthday with just them at home on their actual birthdays, and then um, is having the the big the big picnic um, birthday this weekend at the park here in town which is nice except there's a frisbee event going on and the temperatures are going to be a little kind of out of this world um, for the area so this action happening. And you don't have to close the circle. You're going to leave some spots open because your eye's going to finish that for you. You don't need to um, completely complete, you know. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's grab, let's grab some, some of this. 
Oh, it's a little dark. Maybe this one? Yeah, there we go. That's way too much. Um, so that'll be the afternoon from 2 to 4, and, uh, <sighs> hoping to come back and paint after that. We'll see. We'll see how the, the day goes, right? Because you just never know. A little bit of dry brushing. like that. Touches of dark. Right, I take that. Um, it's dried already, so we'll just do a little dry brush techniques. Pull that down like that. There we go, that looks better. Okay. Dabby down like that. That's fun, right? If nothing else, we're having fun. I haven't, I haven't painted rusty things in forever, so you know, you know, or maybe you don't. Neighbor's dogs losing her mind. go ahead and wet this area back up again. This is a bit of gray. I'm not going to fill this all in. I want it to sparkle a bit. So I'm just going to do that. Shadowing. 
around. I started listening to a new um, Michael Talbot adventure. It's called uh, The Devil's Desk. Um, Mark Tufo writes these apocalyptic stories and he has this character who has multiple timelines and um, uh, different stories within each timeline like who he's with, how, how many friends he has, who he's friends with, what variation of friendship they, those people have. Um, and so on and so forth and It's actually a pretty engaging story so far. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm just doing some stippling right there for texture. But you can also do with um, a dry brush technique if you want to. Come up this side and there. Like so like that. I think I'm going to use some of the um, kind of brown gray wood that's underneath the paint and the keyhole. Okay, just go ahead and wet my very thirsty paper like so along this half. I'm going to grab that same gray and we are going to go ahead and drop it in where it feels right. I think it should be darker. Let's do Some of the wintry night that tends to make a really nice dark color and Prussian blue and purple. There we go. I'll take that one more. Right. better. So, um, and I've read the, um, well, listened to the Zombie Fallout series, and I've listened to the, um, uh, uh, Shrouded World series, and the, um, Indian Hill series, and in each series, he is a he is living in a different timeline, a different possible life that he could live. Um, but he's fated to be with you know the same woman, Tracy. She's she's so far as I can tell, always his wife. And um, yeah, really digging the story of that's happening so far. Apocalyptic, of course. Um, and come down here, get that seam. Kind of ruined feeling going on. There we go. Ok, 
camera decided it wanted to shut off. I'm going to create a kind of a brown, blue gray color to go in here. On that bottom edge. Same gray, green, brown, kind of muddy color. That's I mixed together several different colors to make this muddy and messy. That feels like a map, right? Edge of a map right there. But just started the series today. Honestly, totally forgot about the fact that I needed to go to the park tomorrow and help out with birthday party stuff. It's not a bad thing. I just um, I just spaced it. So it's a good thing my daughter messaged me tonight asking me to bring ice as well as. The other thing she wants me to pick up. Um, there we go. Looks kind of cool. Yeah. So. Cracks and crevices right through there. These noises are necessary to get things right. Now we're only in chapter one in the book and it's already, disaster's already hit. Um, And they've got to figure out, in the form of an earthquake, I believe, or actually a volcanic eruption is what happened. Um, I'll drop some browns in here. Green than I wanted. Okay. 
Okay. Try to dig that. Alright. What else do you want to put on here? Oh, I need to fix my interior situation here. There we go. Mm. Put a little island back here. Makes more sense. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else do I want to do? Not a whole lot more. Um. Actually, let's. And then let's take our dark brown, I guess. I was just enunciating the shape here, like so. way and kind of make it look more rustic I guess is that the word I'm looking for probably okay
I'm just tapping in some textures with pretty dry brush. Like that. And then right there. Just getting in some textures. Kind of dig that. I mean, you can mess around with this for as long as you wanted. Um, I think I'm going to call it pretty good here. Go. I kind of dig it. I'm going to leave it at that for now. Um, like I said, I could pick at this for quite some time, and I don't really want these paintings to be, um, to overrun my life, first and foremost. This is a um, daily prompt, so I don't want it to get too carried away. But I'm kind of digging that for rust or rusty. What do you guys think? Now, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.